I'm on the eighth hole here, and I was quite happy with that swing. But if I could buy anybody's swing, it would be Steve Stricker's. Now, why would you say that? Well, firstly, I know what he went through as a player. He came on the tour with lots of promise, won tournaments, and then it was as if his swing disappeared. He struggled there for several years, but he worked hard on it and he figured out what he needed to do in order to play well. And now it's just one of the best, simplest, most economic swings I've seen on tour in a long time. What's so special about it? Well, it's as if everything swings in harmony and is very together. There's no rush and he has very quiet hands. I recently was told that he had his hands bandaged when he was hitting practice shots. So he would take his setup and someone would come and wrap his hands in a bandage. So when he would swing back and down, his hands would not move. There was no slippage in his hands. He has a very gradual wrist hinge, just enough to get the leverage on the club, not too much. And as he swings down, it's very unhurried and he just turns through the ball beautifully. He's really known for being a great wedge player, but his stats show he drives the ball straight. He hits a lot of greens and he's got great control of his swing especially under pressure. So I think it's really fun to choose a player whose swing you want to emulate. And I always like his simple approach and it's what I try to feel too. So as I'm standing here making a practice swing, I can just visualize how Stricker moves. It's just very together, everything goes back, comes down, turns through, and he finishes very much in sync as he swings. So try and choose a player, find a swing that you like, whether it's the rhythm, whether it's the technique, whether it's just a blend of how simple the swing looks, and then go ahead and hit shots, trying to visualize yourself doing so. I know I'm never gonna look like Steve Stricker, but I can certainly pretend to be like him. So I can swing back and down and through. And for me, he's a good thought, because I tend to get a little too wristy in my swing, and he's passive in his hands. So the thought for me, of keeping my hands bandaged as he must have done on the practice range as he swung back and through is really good. So I'm gonna give this a shot here and see if I can keep those hands in that nice passive position throughout my swing. I tell you what, that was even better than the first one because I felt those quiet hands. <laughs> Find a player whose swing you like. Maybe he does something well that you don't do in your swing, but what you really like in his swing. And take that visual, go out onto the range, and then come out onto the course, and have that picture in your mind. Swing back and through, trying to picture that player's swing. If you do that, you'll be really surprised at how the imitation of one swing can actually help your game.